Hi everyone, welcome to learn Golang from scratch. Today I'm sharing one of the most commonly asked Golang interview question, which is remove duplicates from slice in Golang. Let's understand in a very simple manner. So this will be the input slice, which will contain the duplicate elements two, three, one, two, and three. If you see this right, we have the duplicate elements as two and three, okay? And the output should be the unique elements from this, which should be like this, one, two, and three. If you see uh, this right from the input slice, we have five elements, but unique elements are only one, two, and three. So this should be the output one two and three okay before we start with the solution to our problem statement make sure you like the video and if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay updated for the upcoming videos let's start by first creating the name of the file which would be unique slice.co okay now let's start with our package main and then let's start with the punk main where our uh, you know execution of our go code starts let me just close this out yeah so first we will declare a duplicate slice okay which we will have the elements two, three, one, two, and three. So basically these are the duplicate elements that we have. And what we want is our result should be a known duplicate slice. So let's first print here so that we would be able to see the proper differentiation between the duplicate elements and the unique elements okay now let's get the unique elements from the function unique slice that we will create and we will pass in the duplicate slice here okay and now we will create this unique slice function let's create this unique slice function so before that let me write what unique slice function will do okay so basically unique slice function takes a slice of integers okay and it returns only the unique elements removing the duplicates from the result set okay and now what we would be expecting basically the nums slice and we would be returning the slice And now, first of all, what I would do is I would create a map, scene map, okay, whose, uh, you know, key will be integer as it will hold, uh, it will hold a, a single value from the uh, slice of array and its return type will be empty struct. Why empty struct? because empty struct will help me to uh, save the memory 
okay, because it occupies a zero byte. I'll just write here. Use empty strap to save the memory because it occupies zero bytes. Okay, now we will move on to you know pre allocating the result set like where we will uh, store our uh, you know unique elements and we will create it using a make function and its type will be int of array and we'll be initializing with the zero value and we'll be initializing with the length which would be equal to the length of the element that we are receiving from the uh, main function which is passed to the unique slice function okay so i'll just write here we are trying to pre-allocate the result set result slice with the length of nums to reduce the allocation overhead okay okay now i have created the result set now what i will do is basically i will range over the num slides just like using a for loop okay uh, this is how we you know range over the num slice if you see this right okay so basically i'm trying to range over the num slice okay and i'm uh, getting the value and uh, the key okay but i just need a value here okay what i would do is here i will check whether the value is existing or not already in the scene map okay i will be you know having this condition to check if it does not exist what i am going to do is i am trying to store the value in the map okay so basically i am trying to add it to the scene map and now i will try to append the value to the result set using append function like result equal to append result suppose we already have a uh, one value already here and then i'm trying to add the value number two so what i what it would do is uh, one will be already there in the result set then it will add on the value two so now the result set will become one and two okay and now what i would be doing here is i would be returning the result set so this completes the uh, completes a unique slice function functionality let's move on to the main function from where we started the execution so now we have the unique elements here because we are calling the unique slice function and it is helping us to generate the unique uh, elements so now i want it to sort before i should print so i would use a sort dot ends function and i will pass in this unique element okay and i will try to print the unique elements okay here i will write final unique elements are the unique elements and we'll sort it uh, internally all the elements suppose the duplicate elements here will will be uh, 
stored as a two three one two three okay they are not in sorted order okay but now we are getting here the unique elements which will also not be in a sorted order but i want to sort it before i present it uh, let me just uh, you know rename this i think there is a spelling mistake here unique slice.co okay so let me just execute it now so i'll run go run unique slice dot go okay so just wait for a second so here you go you see the output right duplicate elements are two three one two three okay so here you get the duplicate elements all and now when i'm printing the unique elements it is properly coming one two and three in a proper sorted order okay i hope i was able to uh, make you clear the execution of this uh, unique slice function and how you uh, you know remove the duplicate elements from the array or slice 